I don't think you can pick a winner in this one. I wonder which two superstars have joined forces first. Well, you know, alliances are always formed and dissolved in triple threat matches. Remember, it's every man for himself. And I think if you're Christian competing in this one, you'd want to align yourself with one of these monsters as opposed to them joining forces to crush you. Swinging neck breaker. After losing the WWE title to Randy Orton last year in Chicago, the Celtic Warriors looking for revenge. Well, it was well documented that Sheamus took last year's WWE title loss very, very hard. It looks like the Celtic Warriors set for a championship comeback. Sheamus is looking to regain the World Heavyweight Championship from Randy Orton. I have a funny feeling the Viper will do whatever it takes to avoid that one-on-one -on -one match. Well, when Sheamus sets his sight on something, more times than not, he gets it. Man, Mark Henry, what offense. Oh, what's he got in mind? This might be big. Oh, my, the force behind that headbutt was incredible. Sheamus has fire in his eyes now. And the way this match unfolded, one has to wonder what it'll mean for Mark Henry. I think Mark Henry's going to continue to launch attacks on anyone in his way until he becomes the World Heavyweight Champion. It's that simple. He gets out of trouble there. Sheamus getting a little touched up early here. The Celtic Warrior is not in the best place. He needs to regroup before things get worse. Yeah, Sheamus needs to turn this around because this whole thing could be over with one world's strongest slam from Mark Henry or one kill switch from Christian. You know, the challenge is always first being able to take Mark Henry off his feet. And the world's strongest man is taking some shots here. This might just tick Mark Henry off more than anything else. Yeah, if you're Christian or Sheamus in this one, you have to keep the attack going because if Mark Henry turns the tables on you, whoo, watch out. Oh, Christian's getting the fight brought to him, that's for sure. I don't know how Christian can overcome this adversity. 270 pounds of Sheamus uh. and over 400 pounds of Mark Henry. Oh, man. Christian needs to figure out a way to stick and move in this one. Christian's doing everything imaginable to secure a return match for the World Heavyweight Championship against Randy Orton. Well, you got to hand it to him. Christian's one of the most savvy competitors we have in all the WWE. After two devastating losses to the Viper, he's trying to figure out a way to get back in the title picture. You can tell Christian feels a sense of urgency here. After those two defeats at the hands of the Viper, there may not be many more world title opportunities left, if any. Well, between the two losses to Randy Orton and Christian swirling if he can win without Edge in his corner, Christian does have a lot to think about. Seems to go on offense. Will it be? And a quick kick out from Sheamus. A fever pitch is here in the WWE Universe. Oh boy. Here he goes. Trying to turn him. Oh, and he hit it. Christian hit it. Here's the cover. And who the... Mark Henry! Mark Henry just pulled Christian right out of the ring before the referee could count the three. And now here's Randy York, who's out here uh, apparently to get a, a closer look at who his number one contender's going to be. And I think Randy Orton may be on his way down here. You gotta wonder if Orton's uh, rooting for anybody in particular. Poor Christian thought he had the match won before. He did have the match won. Mark Henry got involved. Christian had hit the kill switch. He'd gone for the cover. The referee got to two. And then Mark Henry yanked Christian by the leg right out onto the floor. And now here's Randy Orton. But what? He's going to just sit down and watch?
Well, Orton's going to sit here and observe now. I guess he'll make his choice later. I'm sure this match certainly has not gone the way Christian had planned. No, what Christian needs to do is create some separation here and find a way to mount some offense. One must wonder the physical state that Christian's currently in. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it can't be good. Oh, look at the emotion. The way tonight's match ended, I'm curious to see if it will result in further hostility between Sheamus and Christian or Christian and Randy. Well, I don't think it'll make them close friends, that's for sure. We're seeing what the prestige of the World Heavyweight Championship can do when you're a superstar in title contention. Christian, you know, he's been doing everything he can, King, to try to win this match, and maybe that'll do it. Sheamus is reeling. Christian. Whoa! Tornado DDT, playing to the Celtic Warrior. That's it. That's Here's the cover One, by two, Christian, no. and Sheamus kicks out again. Oh, my gosh. How did Sheamus kick out of that? I, mean, I thought he, it was finished. He just doesn't give up, does he? No. What is Mark Henry doing? Mark Henry just shot Randy Orton down. What's he thinking here? Now he's getting into the ring. What on earth? Oh, look at this face-off between Mark Henry and Christian. What's going to happen here? Mark Henry's taking some punishment here, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough to put him away anytime soon. Well, we're reaching a critical point. Mark Henry looks to still have the power to turn the tide. But if he gets rocked with another series of moves, he could be in some real big trouble. This is death. That's it. He's done. Playing mind games. Yeah. A little intimidation there. Well, the Celtic Warriors in a bad position here. I just don't know if Sheamus can come back from this, Cole. How much longer can Sheamus last in this match? The damage to his body has been severe. Yeah, Sheamus is known for having an amazingly high threshold for pain. That's definitely being tested right now. Mark Henry feels like he's been disrespected. The world's strongest man looks like he's going to take a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship, whether he's technically next in line or not. Mark Henry's been in this company for more than 15 years. He's of the strong opinion that he deserves a title match against World Heavyweight Champion Randy Orton. Well, if there's one person in WWE who has no regard for the power rankings, it's Mark Henry. When someone the size and strength of Mark Henry feels disrespected, that's not a good thing for anyone, especially the World Heavyweight Champion Randy Orton. A little showboating going on here. He's got him up. Ow. Ooh. Watch it. Ooh. A quick punch to the gut. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Oh. And I think he's begging him to bring it. And he gets back in the ring. Sent flying out of the ring. This match has taken so much out of this guy. He's not going to give up. But man, this has been physical. Let me remind everybody, there are no count outs. These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. Oh man, I think that cracked the ring post. Looks like we could be heading back into the ring. And we're going back between the ropes. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. Chaotic here. 
here. This is Bedlam. Is the match still going? It, it is. Two. And oh. Sheamus kicked out. Christian should have won the thing, but the referee was busy with Henry and Orton. Randy, look at the ring. I'm getting out of the ring. I can't Orton do doesn't know what to think. I don't know what to think either. What's going on here? Christian, look out. Oh, and a front kick by Sheamus. Here's the cover. is victorious. Here is your winner and the number one contender, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Randy Orton's going to be facing the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, but... I mean, Christian's got to be devastated. Right about that. I think Randy's got to be having second thoughts as to is this what he wanted. Knows he has Christian's number, but how will he fare against the Celtic warrior, Seamus?